He didn't read or write. That's not a miracle. It's talking a miracle. Yes, talking. Talking is so I'm miraculous. If you're saying some people can see Allah, then when the Quran says no vision can see Allah, you've got a contradiction. So the light that is veiling him, so the light that is veiling him is greater than Allah's light. Is that light created or uncreated? It's created. So a created light is superior to the light of Allah. Bro, we can't have a conversation. There's no conversation to be had with you. There's no conversation to be had with you. It's impossible to have a conversation with you. What? Because he, he, he just interrupts constantly. He just interrupts constantly. Well, let me ask you, do you support Hamas? You what, sorry? Do you support Palestine's struggle against Israel? Who, who, who's leading that struggle? Yeah, yeah. In the Gaza? Brother, it's a game over there. They never finish because they put them. And this is why you can't have a conversation with him. Just like that, he interrupts you constantly. Anyway, have a good day. Godspeed. So, pussy, not a man. Yes, mate, sure. Any questions? So, any questions on what I talked about? Any questions on Hamas, Israel? So we were talking about, we had a jihadi Islamist who was openly supporting Hamas. He was a Muslim here in the park. He's gone now, he's gone. But don't you know that in every religion you've got good and bad people? You've got good people and you've got bad people. You've got nothing to do with religion. I agree, every religion is good and bad people. So then you look at the, what, what the prophets and the example of the prophets gave them. Now in Christianity we look towards Jesus Christ. In Islam you look towards Muhammad. You, you say that, but you follow Muhammad. The example that you follow is Muhammad. Now, l I obviously disagree with that. I disagree with that completely. I think that's total baloney, really. Can you prove to me that Jesus and Muhammad taught the same message? What was the message of Jesus? Give him the verse that says, whoever speaks to you, bad speak to him, nice. Whoever is bad to you, speak to him, nice. That verse. That's Jesus' teaching. What was, no, no, no. What was the message of Jesus? Let, 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 let me do it. Right. Do you want to talk to him or do you want to talk to me? Because I can just go somewhere else. No, no. Do you want to talk to me or do you want to talk to him? Right, let's talk then. So what was, what was the message of, what was the message of Jesus? Turns out the trick. I'm not fully educated in all education, but from what I know, I believe the message was peace, and the message was the word of God that he sent. He tried to give us a structure of how to live, how to behave. I believe if this message wasn't here, everybody would be angry. Do you understand? But I believe these messages brought structures to our life. They brought us to life. They teach us how to live as a human being, how to respect each other. Okay, so what I would say to you is that that, that, that's very kind of broad and generalized and you've already admitted and, and you know compliments to you for your honesty that you're not particularly educated about what the previous prophets revealed so let me actually tell you what Jesus let, let, let me tell you what Jesus actually taught Jesus actually taught that he was the Messiah and that in his coming the kingdom of God had come on earth he taught that his body would be given and his blood would be spilled for the forgiveness of sins and in that, a new covenant would be established. A new covenant, not like the Mosaic covenant. So, Jesus teaches a, a, a message that is radically based upon himself as a person. And when you look at what the Old Testament teaches about the Messiah, you realize that this isn't just a man. He can't just be a man. He's, he's more than a man. He is a man, but the prophet is just a man. A prophet is just a man. Was he just a man? He had some sort of, um, sorry, my English is not that good. Uh, he had some sort of, um, you know, when he turned the stick into a snake, he could perform some uh, magic as well. But he was still a man. But, that, but same as Jesus. Jesus was more than a man. He was God also. But uh, look, I just have a question. You say Jesus was God, right? Yeah. Did Jesus ever go to toilet? 
Yeah, of course you do. But how can God go to a living? Now, I mean, you, you say that like you've proven something. Like, no, I, no, no, no honestly, it, 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 yeah, and I'm going to answer it. Because we believe that God has become incarnate and took upon himself a human nature. And that human nature is a real human nature, and so it does all the things that human natures do, including going to the toilet. But let's get back to the point, because, because I know when I say that Jesus is God, Muslims resort to a script, and you've just exemplified that script beautifully. But the reality is Jesus claims to be the Jewish Messiah. The Jewish Messiah is a divine figure. He's not just a man. And that's shown in the Old Testament. Do you want me to show you? Yeah, in the Old Testament where the figure is divine, not just human. Okay. So, one of the titles of the Messiah and the title that Jesus uses of himself the most often in the New Testament is the title, the Son of Man, right? You'll see all the way through the New Testament. Jesus always refers to himself as the Son of Man. It's the favorite reference that he uses to himself. Okay, bear with us. Right. So, this is the prophet Daniel, and he's, he's speaking before Christ. So this is before Christ's time, all right? And he's speaking, and I want, to, I want you to read this passage with me, okay? I kept looking in the night visions, so this is like he's having a vision that's given to him by God. I kept looking in the night visions, and behold, with the clouds of heaven, one like a son of man was coming. So this is the title that Jesus uses of himself. But yeah? May I ask a question before you continue? Yeah, go on. Uh, you see here it says, son of man. Why yeah. did it not say son of God? Because that, this is the title that is given to this figure, and no, Jesus saying, uses. Why would the title not "Son of God"? Doesn't, doesn't need to be. It doesn't need to be. If He is the God, doesn't need to be. How can God be the? It doesn't need to be. Can I just read that one more time? Yeah. How can God be Son of Man? Yeah, it doesn't. It doesn't need to be. Yeah, of course you can. Yeah, yeah, yeah totally. Enjoy your day. So, in in terms of in terms of the Son of Man, the the, the 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 point that you've made is completely irrelevant, because the title is not important. What's important? is the person that the title is given to. Oh, would that not be a little bit misleading? Like from that it doesn't person, matter. You, this is a car, but you say that's a bottle. But, 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 but the, we'll, we'll, if I call that a car, will it still contain water? That's a different thing. The one saying no, 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 you, no. If, if this is a bottle, Brother, you, a it doesn't matter how many times you interrupt, we're still going to read this passage. No, no, of course we can. Okay, so the, the passage states, one like the Son of Man was coming, and he came up to the Ancient of Days. Now, just to save me going into it, I'll just tell you who the Ancient of Days is. The Ancient of Days, is is God. Yeah, you have a lovely day, love. Don't let anyone bug you. Yeah. So he came to the ancient of days, so that's God. And was presented before him. So this is two figures. Yeah. And to him was given dominion, glory, and a kingdom that all peoples, nations, and men of every language might serve him. Now, who rightfully should receive the submission of the entire world? Who? I'll let you, say. you know who? God. Yeah, exactly. God. Yeah, exactly. God. Right? Yeah. Oh no, 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 no. So, so he's this this figure is receiving the submission of the entire world, which is rightful only to God, that they might serve Him. Please note that they might serve Him, the Son of Man. Yeah. His dominion is an everlasting dominion. Whose dominion is everlasting? God's. You know that, I know that. There's no need to labor the point. So this son of man, and that is a prophecy of the Messiah, this son of man whom Jesus calls himself the son of man is more than just a human being. He's also divine, because that's what the Old Testament teaches about the Messiah. Okay, your reply. Can I just read it to the end, bro? Uh, yeah. We didn't finish it. Yeah, yeah. I just want to see how it ends in it. Yeah. Uh, so his dominion is an everlasting dominion which will not pass away, and his kingdom is one which will not be destroyed. Now, whose kingdom and dominion is that? God's. So the son of man is God. And Jesus calls himself the son of man. And I'll show you where he does it, just so you can see. Yeah, absolutely, that's totally fine. Son of man, what does that mean? Yeah. It's just a title. It's a title from the Old Testament. It's like a king, it's just a title or a president, it's a title. Okay, so let's have a look at it. Matthew, bear with us. 
means son of mankind. So, right. Okay. So, this uh, is a passage that I'd ask you to read in full on your own. It's in Matthew chapter 27. Mm -hmm. I'm just going to read the pertinent point to what I've just referred to. But then it wouldn't make sense if you could not read all of it. Yeah, well, you can do that. Okay. I've told you where it is. Matthew 27. I, I am just going to read the point that's pertinent to the bit that I've just told you. Because right. I've just shown you that the Son of Man is a divine figure. Now I'm going to show you that Jesus calls himself the Son of Man. So, this is at Jesus' trial before Caiaphas. Okay? And it goes... The high priest stood up and said to him, that's talking to Jesus, Do you answer? What is it that these men are testifying against you? But Jesus kept silent. And the high priest said to him, I adjure you by the living God that you tell us whether you are the Christ, the Son of God. Can you read that part one more time? Yeah, I'm, I'm going to finish and then we'll go back through it. That, that you tell us whether you are the Christ, the Son of God, Jesus said to him, You have said it yourself. Nevertheless, I tell you, hereafter you will see the Son of Man, so he's talking about himself, sitting at the right hand of the power and coming in the clouds of heaven. God, the Father. So, look, if you don't mind, yes. just one more question. You see here where you just read there, you said yeah. he's sitting by the side of the power. Yeah? Yes. So how can he? How can God sit beside himself? Can I sit beside myself? Right. So 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 so, so this is this is uh, because of the Islamic script that you guys are no, taught no, no, about Christianity. Yeah, I'm about yeah, yeah, yeah. But, but I'm just saying, like, if you listen to me, you might get an answer to your question. Sure, sure. But because of the Islamic script that Muslims say to themselves, they say something that we Christians don't say. We don't say that God sits next to God in the sense that you're thinking of it, like one is sitting next to one. What well, I'm going to, but if you keep interrupting, I just have to take longer to. So, 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 so it, it is because you, you're reciting a script to yourselves. So we say that the Son is sitting next to the Father because we believe that the one God exists as Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. So we say the Son is sitting next to the Father. That is what we say. God is in three? Yes. So there's three different people as God. So you've got Spirit, you've got Jesus, and you've got the Father. We say that, yeah, that there's three hypostases. How does that work out? Could you yeah, well, really easily, really easily. Because is your problem the idea that one can be three and three can be one? How? Wait, but are you standing in three-dimensional space right now? That got nothing to do with that. It, it really does. Do it really does. Because if you, and you will, recognize that you're standing in three-dimensional space, mm -hmm. then you accept that singularity and plurality are not contradictory factors. Again, let, let's use the analogy that I'm using. Let, let, wait, wait a second. Let's use the analogy that I'm using. Do you accept or not that you're standing in three-dimensional space? I don't even understand what I mean. Honest, That's all right. Yeah. Maybe you didn't do physics. So as someone who studied physics, let me, tell you, let me tell you as a matter of fact, an indisputable fact, a fact that if you argue against it, you're going to look like an idiot. You are standing in three-dimensional space. Now, do you experience that three-dimensional as three or one? Now, this is a question you can answer because you're just answering from your experience. This space surrounding you, do you experience it as one or three? I don't understand your question, okay. I'll be honest with you. So, you, so if you're anything... Do you guys understand what you say? I don't understand. Now, it's I'm funny. To have a does any, does anyone... So I can engage as well. No, do, do you understand what I'm saying? Right, you get it. You get it. Now, isn't it strange that whenever I use this... Do you get what I said? I didn't hear what you said. Okay, fair. I'm talking about three-dimensional space being singular. It's an experience singularity. He gets it. Now, please know, because I always find this interesting, that all the non-Muslims get it straight away. And all the Muslims go, I don't know what you're saying. Now, doesn't that tell you something? No, because no, it does. It. We, we, well, we how is it he gets it, and he gets it, and I get it, but the only English. ones that don't Maybe get it are only English. Muslims? No, Maybe they know better English. English. No, well, do you, did you get what I said? I don't understand it. Did you get what I said? Did you get what I said? Explain what you said? One more time to this brother. Okay. So your objection to the Trinity was... Wait, 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 wait. No, 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 no. Yeah, you can jump in. I'm not going to exclude you from the conversation. But no, no, that's fine. That's fine. But I promise you, 
if you interrupt, I'm just going to speak louder and I'm not going to let you speak. If you want to have a conversation, then that means all you need to do is let me finish replying to him and then I'll come to you. Is that all right? Is that all right? Let me finish, let me finish what I'm saying to him. Right, well, don't interrupt. And I won't need to shout. I won't need, I won't need to shout if you don't interrupt. So let me finish one. Yes, absolutely. Yes, if you can be patient for two minutes, you will be able to speak. So, I'm going to explain it again. We exist in three-dimensional space. This dimension, this dimension, and this dimension. We know that these are dimensions, and we know these dimensions are exactly like the other dimensions, but they are one thing. We experience them as one thing. And so the idea that plurality and singularity are contradictory is a myth. It is not true. And your objection was, how can three be one and one be three? Well, we live in three-dimensional space and you've got no problem with that. So you've got no problem with the concept of plurality and singularity. He got it, he got it, I got it. Now unless you would like to reply. Unless the concept of God, just, 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 which just, it doesn't, just so right? What did you understand from what you just said? That there is one in the three dimensions and we live in them. And that those three dimensions... dimensions? Well, let him finish. You asked what I got. Okay, and that those three dimensions are also one. So he got it. And you understand. He got it. But he's saying that this So what they're upset about is that you get my argument and it exposes that they don't get it. We're not upset. And it doesn't expose anything. So do you want to talk to me? Right, I'll continue talking to you. All right, you talk then. Yeah, I've got a question. It's got to be on topic, bro. I'm not jumping around. Can you answer the clear contradiction in the Bible? Where it says, who's incited David to count the fighting men of Israel? God yep. did. In Samuel 24, 1. But in, in the Chronicles 21, 1, it says Satan did. Can you read it in uh, Chronicles 21? Because read, I, it in, read, it read, it Chronicles. read it in Chronicles. Read it in Chronicles. Read it in Chronicles. Read it in Chronicles. What does it say in Chronicles? So, one moment. But don't talk over me, yeah? yeah well, don't, don't do that. Yeah, but don't talk over me. Okay, well, well, I'm, I'm having a conversation with him about the Trinity. You're bringing in something entirely I'm different. I will come and find you question. and we'll talk about that. Must you have a about yeah, yeah, right. Let, 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 no, 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 I, no, 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 no. I'm, not, I'm sorry, I'm not going off topic. I'm, I'm, I want to finish this Brother, conversation with you. Uh, no, Rick. All right, so you guys talk to yourselves. And, no, and, and running I'll, away in front of the whole crowd. No, not and really. Because, uh, no, no, one second. One second. One second. Read it in Chronicles. Read it in Chronicles. It Satan did. Right, and what's the problem? Well, 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 don't interrupt that's because that's how so I feel. Please don't do that, so, yeah? right, so, are we agreed? You're not going to interrupt me and I'm not going to shout. Are we agreed? Right, so, you don't, don't interrupt and I won't shout. And what about your friend? He's responsible for his own actions. Well, if he interrupts, then I've got to shout. That is. Right, so 24 1. Now 24 1. Now, again, the anger of the Lord burned against Israel and incited David against them to say, go and number Israel and Judah. Everybody say Israel and Judah. But who incited it? Israel and Judah. Right, what's the other passage? But who incited it? What's the other passage? God, God did, right? What's the other passage? The other passage said that Satan did. It's Chronicles what's the 21.1. What, what? Chronicles 21.1. Uh, 1 Chronicles 21.1. It okay. says that Satan did, not let's, God. Let's, let's go to it. Let's go to it. One, sorry, what was it again? Here you go, bro. 1 Chronicles 21.1. 1 Chronicles 21.1. No, I'm, I'm, I'm checking what he's reading because it, it sounds uh, right. similar. So 21 1. Then Satan stood up against Israel and moved David to number Israel. Now, did you hear the difference? God called David to number Israel and Judah. Number, yeah, to count them. But Satan stood up against David to incite him to number Israel. So these are not the same event. They are not a contradiction. God made David number Israel and Judah, and then Satan came to David and made him number Israel. Now we've done a contradiction in the Bible. Let's do a contradiction in the Quran. Now let's do a contradiction in the Quran. That wasn't a good explanation for that. Yeah, it didn't even convince me, sir. Doesn't matter if it doesn't convince you. 
It does because I'm searching for why the truth. You're not searching, searching for the truth. But who says I'm not? I don't believe you. It's you who says that. I'm I don't here. believe you. I don't believe you. Then why are you having a conversation with him? Because he's entitled to have a conversation. I've got no problems with talking to people who are insincere. You don't believe him. You don't believe what he says. You don't care if he believes you. Right. So now let's talk about a contradiction in the Quran. Yeah. Okay. So, help, so let, let, one, let, let's 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 talk about country. I thought, I thought. You, we, do you see why I've got to raise my voice? Can I not say one thing? Just of course you, you can. Go All for right, it. Then, Go for it. One, one. This is some advice to you. I reckon you should learn how to speak with manners and respect because if you don't, you need to understand that there are consequences for the way you speak. Are you trying to threaten me? Are you trying to threaten me? It's actually not a threat. The man that called me a dog is now telling me to speak with manners. Yeah, you should. There you go. He called me a dog that says I should speak with manners. Well, well, what's the consequences, bro? Yeah. So there you go. So, so, so. Christians are thinking about violence. Yeah, yeah. There you go. He called me a dog by his own admission, and then demands that I talk with manners. And this is the conceitedness of the Muslims in the corner. Right, don't run away from the contradiction in the Quran. Don't run away from the... The reason why they're talking to you is because they don't want to talk about contradictions in the Quran. So let's, let's, let's talk about contradictions in the Quran. Okay? Let, let's talk about contradiction in the Quran. Okay? Are you ready? Are you ready? Okay, we're going to talk about contradictions in the Quran. How are you going to ask somebody who doesn't know the Quran? Well, how are you going to ask? Right. Are you searching for the truth or what? Bear with us. Yeah. Bear with us. Doesn't make sense, my brother. Right. But why are you still having a conversation with someone that you don't believe and you don't care? Wait, yes, yes. Because whether I think he's sincere here, is irrelevant, is irrelevant right to whether I have a conversation with him. Still being disrespectful yeah. Okay. Yeah. So let, let's let, let's 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 look let's let's look at a contradiction in the Quran. God right. has his own falsification text. Need to. If he really reads it, but he's taken a long time to find a contradiction. Well, you came prepared, didn't you? So I, I'm now looking for one, aren't I? Yeah. yeah you can just say it. You can just say it now while you're searching. No, no, I'll, I'll find it first. Thank you. It's all right. What does it talk about? Okay. So here's a contradiction in the Quran. Uh, uh, do you want to get your Qurans out? So you can follow the argument? Who says that I have a Quran? I'm assuming that you have a Quran. Joe, okay, fair assuming, enough. Man, Bob, yeah, stop assuming, why, why are you getting upset? Just, that's you're very really upset. That's almost prejudiced, right. Bob. Okay. I have, I have. No, 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 no. The man's calling me a dog. You interrupted a conversation that I was having with him, and now you're demanding manners. I find that ironic. Yeah, I, never I deserve it. I, I, never, I, never I deserve it. I never interrupted. There you go. I joined the conversation by your permission. Yeah. Because no, no, not by my permission. No, you told me you, you asked the him. You asked him. No, but and I said, witnesses. You so. said you the conversation, Bob. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I, I wanted it to be on topic. You, I wanted it to be on let's topic. Right. So let's let's go to Surah 6, Ayah 103. So oh, you do have the Quran. Surah 6, Ayah 103. No, 103. Six? 103. Yeah. But when I hear what kind of conversation? Surah 6, Ayah what? Ayah uh, 103. Tell me when you're there, guys. Yes. Surah 6, Ayah 103. And he is soft to the acquaintance. Right. So, the Quran states in Surah 6, Ayah 103, that no vision can grasp him. We're all clear about that. The Quran is saying, no vision can see Allah. As an Arabic speaker. Right. One second, let me show you the contradiction. But listen, listen, let, 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 Arabic, let, 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 me, let, me, let me finish the contradiction. Okay. Maybe we can learn something today. So, so in Surah 75, I have 22 and 23. 22, Surah 75, 22 and 23. <laughs> okay, now in Surah 75, Ayah 22 and 23, it says, And some faces that day shall shine radiantly, looking towards their Lord. So, can you see Allah or not? First, you have to be subjective in the. In our, uh, yeah. yeah, yeah. It's, you should be. You shouldn't be biased. You should look at it in a subjective way. Okay. Uh, we cannot, we cannot see God in our life, but we can. See, and uh, but we can see Him in the afterlife. Okay. Yeah. So 
when the Quran states no vision can grasp yeah, him, this, where, where does it say in this world? Even, even in the afterlife, no one can look at him except the people that are in the heaven. No. Because Go on. We, know, we know that Prophet Muhammad, uh, he, he actually interprets his Quran in his life. So we have to look at him also. We shouldn't like only read the Quran because the Quran is uh, uh, translated by Muhammad to, to people. So some verses are already interpreted by uh, the Prophet. Now, now let, 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 let me reply because what you've done is confirm the contradiction. Because what you said, no, 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 I didn't interrupt yeah, you. Don't, don't interrupt or I have to raise my voice. So we can have a conversation. Okay, I didn't yeah? say that. Right. So, if you interrupt me, I just raise my voice, and then he feels like I'm dragging his balls across. Oh, you know, don't be kind. Glass. Exactly, shattered glass. And we don't want to do that to the guy. It's cruel. Don't do that. Exactly. Let's not do that. So you've <laughs> confirmed the contradiction because you just said that no vision can see Allah, and then you qualified it by saying in this world, and then I said, show me where it says in this world, and rather than show me where it says in this world, which you can't, what you said is even in the next world, except some people. So. If you're saying some people can see Allah, then when the Quran says no vision can see Allah, you've got a contradiction. Because you can't have no vision in one hand and some vision on the other. Those two things contradict. It talks before, it talks before, yeah. it talks before about that they are in the afterlife now. If you read the verses before, yep. it's a whole chapter, right? Then, and you, you no, just cherry-picked one no, verse. No, no, no. Yeah. That's why it sounds out of read, context. If you read just uh, from uh, to, uh, the 13th verse yep. until the contradiction, yep. you say, you'll find that they are in the afterlife right now. Yeah. And that there are some people who are tortured because of their bad deeds, and there are people who are so blessed they get the chance to see God. If you read the chapter called, by the way, that he was in uh, chapter 100, and, uh, what was it? It was Surah 75, 22 and 23. If you read, if you read, it, takes, uh, it talks about the apocalypse that yep. will happen. Yep. I do not swear, uh, uh, means I do not swear by, uh, yep. I do swear by the judgment day. So yep. the first word is about judgment. Yeah. So it's not a contradiction. So because it's, it, it approves of what I said. You cannot see God except after this this test yep. that he put in us. Yeah. Because this world is a test. So like so so hold on. you 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 yeah. Go on. Finish your point. It's like it's, uh, if you look at it as a school, yeah. as a class. Yeah. So before the exam. You, you will get, before the exam, you'll have to study and open book and uh, look at the answers and start memorizing, making notes. But as the exam is set, you cannot open it again. So this is uh, and after the exam, you'll get either fail or you'll pass. So this is an exam. So that's what? what, what so see, so when? That's why you cannot see the. So when it says no vision, it doesn't mean no vision. No, it means al absar means our vision. So means our vision. Right, and, and and is that still our vision? In the, is it not human beings that are seeing in the next life? What, what do you mean? So the, the, the reality is that it is a created vision that sees Allah in both verses. But the Quran is saying no vision can see Allah. But then it's saying that in the afterlife some people will see Allah. That's a contradiction. No, I'll tell you why. I'll tell you why. I'll tell you why. When you see Allah, it means you have corner in, in one I get your argument. Be judged by him. Allah is so great that he's there's nothing that can uh, what's good? I don't know the conceptualize. Yeah, contain him. Yeah. So if you looked at him, it's like you contained him, and there's nothing that you can. It's it's in there's a uh, there's a verse that lays a committee say there's nothing like. Him. So simple question: According to the Quran, will you see Allah or not? There is even actually in uh, Islamic scholars, there is some people that say you will not see his face, you will see his light. But there is, oh, but, uh, there is uh, an other scholar. Is seeing his light seeing him? Yeah, there's a, no, they say you will not see him. No, that's, that's not they, they're, they're, so it's not him? His light is not him? Because he has, just, a, light. He has a hijab. I'm talking over subjectively, himself. I'm not yeah. being biased. And Allah I'll give says you in the afterlife, him. some people, yeah. um, he will take his hijab yeah. off and he'll allow no, them no, no. to see him. It's not a hijab. He'll allow them it's not, to see it's him. Not hijab. hijab just means veil. No, no, no. Hijab just means veil. Not veil. He's not wearing a veil. It's, in Arabic, when you say there's a hijab between you and me, there's, there's something that prevents you from looking less like a wall. It's not like he's wearing a veil. But Muhammad himself said, 
that how could I have seen Allah? Allah is veiled in light. Actually, so actually, Muhammad this brother is not wrong. Actually, Muhammad did not see Allah. He, he didn't. He didn't. Yeah, he said. He said, how could I see him? He's veiled in light. In light. So whose light is that? It's his light. So if it's his light, you're seeing him. Uh, no, you can't. Oh, see the light. Is the light created or uncreated? It's part of him. So if you're seeing a part of him, you're seeing him, aren't you? So it's created. So say for example, so it's created. Is it created? If I put something over myself, yeah. fully covering myself, can you see me or what? Or what I'm saying? If you put something over you, I see the thing that you cover yourself with. Exactly. Right. So now me answer this question. Answer me this question. Is that thing that covers Allah created or uncreated? We just put opinion. Yeah. We just point Right. So here's the problem. You're saying that no sight can encompass Allah. But you're saying that something that is created can. And that is a contradiction. No, no, it's not a contradiction. You didn't even hear what he said. What did he say? No, no, no. You, you just said that he. That I said that's a contradiction. You didn't even hear what I said. Right, there we go. So what, 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 what the brother said was that he's going back to his idea that Allah covers himself in light. Like a hijab, like a niqab. Let me finish, let me finish, let me finish. Let me finish, let me finish. He did say that. Am I misrepresenting you? I said there's a veil, there's a veil in front of you. Right, and you used the analogy of the niqab, did you not? No, I said hijab means veil. Hijab doesn't mean that, but it means modesty. The, the a veil is something different. No, no, no. So, so, so in terms of, in terms of, what, what you're saying? Just one minute, that is you. Yeah. So the brother, the brother basically used the analogy of if he covered himself with something like a niqab, that I wouldn't see him, I would see the, the niqab covering him. I agree, that's a logical argument. And then I asked the question, the light that covers Allah, is it created or uncreated? Is it a part of him or is it not? This brother, this brother said it was a part of him. If it's a part of him, then you're seeing Allah. If it's created, then you're not seeing Allah. But if you're, it's created and you're not seeing Allah, then that means something that is created encompasses Allah. Again, 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 again. Again, firstly, firstly, he's not a scholar. So what he's saying, you cannot, you cannot pin it on him and saying that this argument failed because... Are you a scholar? No. So the same applies to you? But I'm, I'm well researched. Okay. How do you know he is? Just, just let me tell you, because, because his argument, but that, that doesn't mean he's... Uh, I'll tell you what I mean. When you see, if you saw his light, then you saw him. You cannot see Allah because he's above your... Uh, Imagination. It's like, you cannot contain him. He, so he knows that, that. he already knows that. The, uh, when we say Allah, we don't, we don't, I don't imagine a man sitting on a throne. I don't give him a... There, there's no image. Allah. That's why in Islam we don't paint him. There is no image. Yep. Lay second, if you say, there is nothing like. Second, the light does not cover him. It's you who cannot see him. You when Muhammad said, I have not seen Allah because he is veiled in light. No, Was that a truth? That's a hadith. That's a hadith. It's a Hasahi hadith from Bukhari. Why is it in the text? Uh, what does he say then? It says, it says, no, no actually I'm not familiar with it, so I don't... But so how do you know it doesn't say that? I'll tell you why. So how do you know it doesn't say that, if you don't know the hadith? Because I know the story. Well, bro, you, you need to practice what you preach. Because, because I know the story. I've listened to it thousands of times. Okay, guys, listen. He went to a, a place where he entered, there is, there is a light. And from that light, you cannot see anything, but God then uh, revealed the obligations he had to come down then and get shot. So the light that is veiling him, so the light that is veiling him is greater than Allah's light. It must be, logically. But it's logically, bro. Think about what you're saying. You're saying that this light that, that is, that, that Allah... I didn't say it covers Brother, brother, you, you, you got to let me speak. Because you gotta let me speak. You gotta, you gotta let me speak. You're picking words from me, and then, you, 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 then choose better words. So you, you gotta let me speak. You, you said that that this light prevents us seeing Allah. That means that this light, which I, I want to ask from your opinion, one, one, one second, is that light created or uncreated? It's created. So a created light is superior to the light of Allah. 
because it stops you from seeing the light of Allah. What did, what did, what did, what did, what, what, that's like, that's what, like wait, saying wait, 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 that wait, wait, God wait, creates wait, a rock wait, that he can't pick what, up. What You've did, just done the equivalent. Wait, 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 wait. Saying that God, saying that, no, no, wait, wait, wait. Saying, let me, there's a point, there's a point. Let him speak. There's a, let him speak. Will you say, Why didn't you stop him from interrupting him? Just one minute. Dude. Listen to him, listen to him man. When you say God can't Why didn't you do that when he interrupted? Listen to him, man. But why didn't you do that when he interrupted? No, no, I'll come back to him. But why didn't you do that when he interrupted? It's funny that. Yeah, go on. A rock that he cannot pick it up. Saying that is a contradiction by itself. Would you agree it is? No. So you're saying God can create a rock that he can't pick up? That's a You're saying that's not a contradiction? It's like saying, can, it's like saying, can you hear this white color? So you can, agree? Can so you it's a nonsensical statement? Yeah. Agree? Of course. I agree. But so can he's saying mean, that God can create a light that is greater than his light. Uh, we That's, that. that is the same thing. He did not say that. You did say that. You said, said, said cover. He said cover. I'm telling you, you whether, cannot contain him in the space. Barrier, you cannot cover him. So, my, my, my did you say or did you not say that, that, that God creates a light that prevents you from seeing him? What? Did you say or did you not say that God no. creates a light that prevents you no, from seeing I did him? Not say that. Okay, repeat what you repeat your argument I then. Because I must have misheard. I said there's a, uh, the verse you showed us that eyes can visions can't proceed, right? Yes. I told you because he's so he's greater than to be contained in a light or in a spectrum. It's like you yeah, have you listened? You don't want to put have that you, have you, have about you, to get destroyed. Have you said that uh, have you uh, ever heard of the frequencies and there's lights and there's spectrum you cannot see? Yep. At this definition, you can also you cannot see God because he's in a whole different uh, spectrum, or uh, and he cannot be contained. So, in our eyes so, 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 come back to this idea so that Muhammad said that how could I see Allah? He is veiled in light. Yeah, but, but when he said that, when he said that in the hadith, that I have, I've never, see, never seen yet. Okay, maybe something for you to research. Yeah, yeah of course. I'm not a scholar. Fair enough. So, when you said he's covered in light, that doesn't rebunk my uh, discussion. He said, there's a light between me and him that prevents me of seeing him. That doesn't mean it is covered. It's not covered. When you say God is covered, it means he's contained. And God says, Laysa Kimitri say nothing is like him. So there's nothing, yep. nothing as giant, as uh, vast as him. So if yep. you say there's a light that covers him, Muhammad said that. All right, there, then the, the translation you have read may be uh, wrong. Or maybe it's right. Maybe it's wrong. Or maybe it's right. I mean, the thing is, right now. If you have that, let me read. Yeah, I'll, I'll have to get it. But so, but but, but, but in, in terms. That, that, but doesn't rebunk what you just uh, because it doesn't rebunk what I said so, because the definition. No no no. Hold on. Hold on one second. What you've got are, is an absolute statement in the Quran that says no vision can see Allah. Proceed. And then another statement. No no. So see, proceed. Let, 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 let's let's have a look. Come on, let's have a look. So seeing and let, let's go. It says no no vision can encompass him. Yes, no vision so can encompass him. Right, hold on one second. No, it does because if if you're saying that no vision can encompass him, one second, then any vision sits upon a spectrum, doesn't it? So it sees him in part, does it not? I don't know that. I right. Can't, I can't say but that. Is that context? He, but that means that that means I, that I there is some involved. vision. Well, no, no. Hold on one second. If if you're saying your argument is no vision can encompass him in his totality, and then what we're saying is in the other verse it says some of them will see his face. One second. No, 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 no. Let me finish my point. But the problem with that is that what you have then moved is into a quantity, a quantity difference. But that means that. It's not that no vision can see him, it is that some vision can see him, and that is the contradiction. No vision can see him no, is an absolute. Encompass him. Then you just you just made a verse from your mind. Encompass him. Encompass him. Yeah, yeah. But a bit what, like you should. What the verse, what the verse says? Bobby. Or rather he should. Wait, wait, wait. Come on, Bobby. Rather he should. Wait, 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 what is the yeah. verse say? Don't you know what I'm talking about. It says encompass him. <laughs> so encompass him means that vision now sits on a spectrum, doesn't it? A quantity. Before Jesus Christ saved him, him. Yeah. Encompass him means a a a quantity, doesn't it? Right? So, no vision can grasp him. The grass, he grasps all vision. Right, so that's the totality, isn't it? Yeah, so it's the totality, isn't it? No, it's a totality, isn't it? Is it a totality? 
Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. Right. So now work with that logic. So your the Quran is saying that that no vision yeah, what's your can point? can. So my point is that in the other verse, it says in the heaven. That, yeah. That look towards their Lord. So hold on one second. You you gotta let me finish my point. What's your point? I'm I'm trying to, but yeah. you keep interrupting. Yeah, I, th I thought that was your point. That was well, yeah. So if we're saying that you, you can't grasp him in his totality, so all vision now sits on a spectrum. All right. Yeah. I, so I so so if you're then saying if you're then saying that that in the afterlife people will see him in a, a kind of like a slither. Out of the, uh, uh, let me finish. Some people will see him in, in kind of like a slither. Okay, so you, 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 you're you not going to no, listen. Please, please, please. So, so you don't, go so ahead, go ahead. I'm going to start again. Go ahead. No, no, no. I'm going to start again. Uh, so in, in, in Surah 6, <laughs> Ayah 103, yeah, yeah, yeah. you and I both agree. No, no, what you can see. You see, you're still interrupting. Yeah. No, I'm, you're still interrupting. We're, I, I'm telling you that no, I How about I say my point? How about I say my point? See your point. Okay, so you're saying that, that Allah can't be seen in his totality. Perceived. Okay, it can't be perceived. Can't be seen in his totality, see. right? No vision can grasp him. In this life. But that means that vision now sits in a quantity spectrum, and that quantity is saying that that you can't you you can't see him. No vision can grasp him. But in the next verse, it's saying that some vision will look towards the Lord, so they will see their Lord. Does it say their Lord, or does it say some part of their Lord? No, it says their Lord. Their Lord. So is Allah one or is he parts? That's your point. So if you're That's going your if you're going to see him and he's one, right. then you see him right. completely, yes. utterly. Yes. Absolutely. And that's his totality. Because Allah is one. Now I now address that point. Do you want to just you keep getting stuck on this spectrum spectrum thing? Like you have to understand that. You are a religious man yourself. Yeah. yeah? We can't fully comprehend the majesty of God in it. I agree. Yeah? We're talking about spectrum. This is the worldly, earthly dunya. We have five senses. We have, have smell, sight, whatever, whatever, whatever. Yep. A bat or something can that. He has a different spectrum of hearing to you. Yeah? yeah. So Ooh, subhanallah, see. it can hear different things. Yeah. A dog cannot see the same vision that you can see spectrum-wise. Yeah, agree. Yeah? So when we're talking about the, the almighty, the creator, yeah? How can you even begin to use these kind of... Uh, With your little mind. Exactly. It doesn't make sense. Yeah. So you know, his point is yeah. that why does the Quran say... There's a claim that no no one can see him, but then in the afterlife, after that, in the, before the, in the hereafter, some people will be able to see the other verse, the chapter 75, yeah. uh, says that some people will be look towards at, their Lord. Yeah, yes. he didn't read. He did. Yeah, he didn't read the. the no, no, no. You're missing, no, no, You're the, missing my point. You're missing my point. Is Allah one? Yeah, yeah. I'm a, Is Allah a totality? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Right, so if you look towards your Lord, there's no seeing him in parts, there's no seeing him in bits. You're, getting, you're talking about the light, isn't it? You're getting stuck no, on no, the no, light. No, 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 you're missing, you're missing the... Okay, the that was a separate point. I was pointing at a separate right. contradiction, right? You were separate point. While, while I'm addressing your point. So, so my just point... Let me address it. Okay, address Thank my point. Address my point, not his point. Oh, okay. You said, I'm telling you that this yeah. verse that says that some people are looking toward the gods. Yes. Already have to look at this uh, verse that... First, firstly, they are in the afterlife. Yes. Right. So there is supernaturals that happens there that can that in our day could could be said considered as uh, impossible. Yeah. Because he created the laws of the universe. Yeah. So in the afterlife, it's totally different. Uh, so the first, there's two uh, parts of people. There's two, two parties. Parties who are uh, afraid and exhausted. And, Terrorized, and those uh, the other party who are relieved, and uh, yeah, and one of uh, and because they are relieved, they have sent to heaven, and in heaven they will see their Lord. Right, right. Hold on one second, because this is my point. If Allah is one, yeah. and He is an absolute one, there's no bits, there's no parts. Yeah. So the the are one second. The argument, yeah. the one verse of the Quran says, no vision can encompass him. Yes, yes, yes. But Islam also teaches that Allah is an absolute one. Yes. There's no parts. So if another verse of the Quran says 
they will look towards their Lord. Well, they one second. I know one second. Why are you interrupting? One second. Why are you interrupting? In Islam, why are you interrupting? Okay, I'm. I'm just going to talk to you. So, in in another part of the Quran, it says that in another part of the Quran, it says they will look towards their Lord. Now, if Allah is Allah is one, he is absolute. That means that if they're looking towards their Lord, they can't see a bit of him. Why did you? Because the 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 they summon the whole of the equal. Where did you get that? Like the part, there's no parts, that's the point. So, yeah, so if they're from? looking towards their Lord, they're yeah. seeing him. Yeah. And that means vision has encompassed him because he is one, he can't be seen in bits. Who told you that you're going to see He can't be seen in parts. Who said that you're going to see him all? So Allah is in parts. Wait, wait. you might So see Allah is in parts. Brother, brother, but this is easy, brother. You might so is Allah in parts? You might see an attribute of God. There you go, He's no. Moved. Yeah, but that doesn't mean I cannot see a part of him. You oh, you can see a part, so he can, so he is a part, yeah. so he is in parts. No, it, it's, it, there's a difference when you say, I give you a photo of a tree. And yeah. I only see, uh, let you see one bit of it, and you say, "Oh, it's cut in Lego parts." No, but a tree is, but a tree is, but a tree is not singular. You you're, you're it's not an absolute no, singular. No, no, no. Why? It's one thing. No, because the leaves are distinct from the branches, which is distinct from the trunk, which yeah. are distinct from the roots. Yeah. It is not and an absolute one. Right? Who said in, that you said Islam said that he's an absolute the, one? The, 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 what did you Islam, get Islam what teaches. Did you get Islam I mean, teaches. Wait, wait, Allah. Did you get Islam that? teaches. No, you cannot say Islam, Islam teaches. Get away with this. Islam teaches. Okay. Are, are, you, are, you, are you done interrupting? Are you done interrupting? Are you done interrupting? Are you done interrupting? Are you thank you. So it does Islam teach? Let's do it that way. Does Islam teach that Allah is one? Yeah, Allah is one entity. One entity, a singularity. What do you mean singularity by what? He's above and outside of the universe. So does he have parts? No parts. No parts. Unless he wills. Yeah, no parts. Do you understand? So your argument about the tree... The So So the parts, that's exactly what we say about the Trinity, but you don't accept it. So in terms no, 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 no. of, in terms of, in, so he's not in parts. Thank you. Yeah. So your analogy that, 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 to the tree doesn't does it, work. Does it no. Because the tree Why has you parts. To me, man? If I cut off a branch, but you can the tree be, doesn't disappear. Because, 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 Do you see the difference? Listen, 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 Thank you. Listen, your point is, I, it's one thing, right? This is a one button. No, it's not I one. See it. That is not one. Yeah, the, the, it doesn't matter for argument's sake. You can look at a part of it, but you cannot look. You can see it all and you can see only parts of it. So why can't but we see brother, only one part? Maybe so that means some vision can no, see their Lord. Bro, 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 let, 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 let bro, me say one no. thing. Let me say but one maybe, thing. maybe we can see the attribute of Allah. Doesn't he have 99 attributes? He's Nur. Maybe this is the light that Allah is talking about. It's not a part, it's an attribute of Allah. No, Allah is one. Allah is one. one. This is the answer for him. Look, look. You can see Allah's attributes maybe. Why doesn't Allah... Wait, so that means, but the point is, well, the point is, let, 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 because now we're, we're talking sensibly, right? The, the, the machismo has disappeared from you guys. This so now we can have a, co a conversation. Machismo. That, that machismo that's coming back from you what, now. So, so in, terms of, in terms of your argument, the reason why your argument doesn't work, the, the reason why your argument doesn't work is, is because, is because you have to divide Allah into bits you can see and bits you can't see. That's the problem. You can see God's Because that compromises his taweed, his oneness. You can see God's attributes. Saying, saying that attributes there's Paul. only this way to see God, it's like you're well, giving a claim this is the only way you can see you God. Have to, you have to be divine nature because, because of the light. Because yeah. you appreciate science, right? Because yeah. you know that nothing goes faster than the speed of light. Yeah. You only yeah. Act up in a so you not appreciate them that when we're talking about God, when we're talking about light, that there may be some kind of incomprehensibility to, to the way you're trying to discuss it through just linguistics. I agree that linguistics limit our discussion about God, right? But uh, what I'm doing is I'm using what the Quran is saying, right? So if if that that means that that, that this perfect Quran that is meant to be clear speech, that's meant to be a guidance for mankind, is failing in in the way it's describing. It's not failing at all. Your, your, your understanding is, is failing. Like, that's my, that's okay, my, uh, can I can I kind of summarize? Since 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 this started off, I, I was having one conversation with with. About sincere, one topic. Went, yeah, he was a yeah. sincere nice. He was a sincere guy. Was sincere, and then yeah. this guy derailed us and moved us on to a completely different topic, yeah, which is what we've just yeah. which is contradictions. Yeah. So let, let, let me just sort of close down my position on this question of contradictions. The reason why he did that was right? because he, let, let, the guy was sincere, yeah. but we, we saw no, no, that no, he was not no. really sincere. No, you, he, he, he jumped in with a completely different yeah, topic. Yes, we were talking about the Trinity. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But let me let me come back let me come back to let me let me come back to the a kind of summary point. Because I think we've kind of exhausted my position, your position. Okay, so in the Christian faith, what we believe about the Bible is not identical to what you believe about the Quran. 
You believe about the Quran that it is literally the words of Allah, that it's Nazil, that it's spoken by Allah, was given to the angel Gabriel who gave it to Muhammad, who's then scribes wrote it down, and it is ad verbatim the words of Allah. Which of course means, yeah, exactly. Which of course means if there are any contradictions in the Quran, any contradictions, the Quran is not true. I'm not being unfair to Islam by saying that. Christians don't have this belief. We don't have that belief. We believe that the words of the Bible, the words of the Bible are written by men, inspired by God. Which means that our, our, our need for its absolute perfection in every regard and in every dimension doesn't exist. We don't have to have that. Because, 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 as you already know, human language is limited. If we all go away now, and we give a written account of what we've just personally experienced, not only will all of our accounts differ, but all of our accounts will miss details. Now, those details, you know, are a degree of its imperfection. Those, those different accounts, even though every one of them will be honest and true, even though they differ, they will be imperfections. Language is limited. But exactly. And so we Christians have a much more mature way of understanding the revelation of Scripture than I say Islam does. Because you set a standard that the Quran yeah. doesn't match. Yeah, that's one so of that's the my summary Quran. statement. What's so, your summary what, statement? What, what, just one thing. That's one of the miracles of the Quran. Oh, he knows that. He's no, not no, no, no. Let me tell you. We believe, you, just, you, just, you said it perfectly. We believe that the Quran is, came to Muhammad verbally. That because it's a, a pure connection from God yep. to Muhammad and from and Muhammad uh, to, to all the people at the same life, lifespan of Muhammad yep. written the Quran. Yep. Because immediately after it was verbally uh, came down to Muhammad, it was written. Similar idea of what but, you believe in Christianity about the Bible. But in Christianity, don't believe that. In Christianity, you believe that the Holy Spirit can come to a man and then he will write the scripture. So what Jesus said does not count. It's not important because the Holy Spirit will come again to every to every priest. So a pe for, if a priest can uh, lie, nobody can uh, uh, nobody can see that he's a liar because the Holy Spirit came onto him. And no, I mean, I mean that's so not that's not even follow, close to what we believe. So you cannot follow anyone. There is no change. And that's why there's a lot of contradiction in a lot of domination. So, so one second. So here's the difference: is I was able to perfectly, and you admitted it perfectly describe what Muslims what believe, believe about the Quran, yes. what Muslims believe about the Quran. Yeah. But I'm telling you now, you, you, you were miles off the mark about what we believe about the Bible. Miles off the mark. Yeah, so you, you, no, one belief, second. The, dif is, the difference between us, is in, in the difference between us, the difference between us, bro, is that I understand what I'm rejecting in Islam. But you don't understand what you're rejecting in Christianity. What you rejecting? I understand the writings of men. What we're rejecting. Yeah, and what what but what what, what, what we're saying is that those writings are inspired by the Holy Spirit. Inspired yeah. by. We so don't know. I can say. No, by the Holy Spirit. You have to say, have faith that it's not that the shaitan talking to you. And That's people it. will follow me. Well, isn't that what Muhammad said? That isn't that what Muhammad said? That's exactly what Muhammad said. Muhammad cannot write or read. Well, and he, in, that, that, at the same time, firstly, said, firstly, that's disputable. No, 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 it is disputable. No, it's not. He, 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 there are some, there are some Jesus, sources that say that Muhammad wrote no, and no, he read no, no, a contract. Do you believe in Jesus? No. Your God that's not what we. That's not Muhammad what we believe, bro. 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 Muhammad made a claim to be inspired. Your, uh, uh, so your uh, argument uh, is as much against Muhammad as it against anyone else. Can Jesus, can your God did Muhammad? Mistakes? Did Muhammad can claim to be inspired? Did Muhammad wait, wait, wait. claim to be inspired? No, no, wait. Uh, my, claim is, uh, your, uh, my claim is Jesus said that Prophet Muhammad, when, when he comes, is an unlearned man. It's in your Bible. It, firstly, so that's does, not true. No, that is true. It really isn't. It really so isn't you're true. saying Muhammad was an ignoramus? No, unlearned. So, a learner doesn't mean that he couldn't write. Is different to exactly. That, that, that your claim is that yeah, right. Can hold on one second. Came to him and just, so, 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 yeah, but 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 that's just Muhammad's claim. No. His argument is we can't trust the Bible because some people just said I'm inspired. Yeah. Well, that's exactly what Muhammad did. He said, well, the angel Gabriel came to me. It's exactly the same. No, yeah, so if he's arguing, and it is, we have very different no, 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 concepts. No, 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 no. But this claim of no, a man who cannot read or write to suddenly learn how to read or write. He didn't read or write. No, but he was. Did he read or write? He was able to. 
Jibril came to him. He didn't read or write. He never read yeah, or he written. Able That's to not read. a miracle. Know that. It's talking a miracle. Yes, talking. Talking is yes. so I'm miraculous. Yes. I'm miraculous. So so there's nothing special about Muhammad then. Let me tell you something. Let me tell you something. No, no. Because all Muhammad did is talk. You know what's Sorry. No, 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 no. All Muhammad did is talk. Yeah, yeah, he, he didn't no, read, he didn't write, he just spoke. And he claimed that, that what he was speaking was coming from an angel. That's all he claimed. You know what's special? There's, that's not proof of anything. That's not proof. No, it isn't. It's, there's, there's all kinds of contradictions. There's contradictions to science. There's contradictions to geography. There's contradictions to history. There's internal contradictions like the one we've just spoken. He's ignoring what I said, and he said that uh, that's not true. Jesus said the that the, the, the Prophet Muhammad, with, 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 which is why his argument doesn't a man work. Come who is illiterate? It's a it's prophecy. It's a you, you weren't paying attention, bro. Jesus I can tell. Well, but he's ignoring that's fine. Was, uh, that's fine. Yeah, that's fine. So, so he was making this argument. He was arguing against the Bible, and he's saying, "Well, we can't trust the Bible because people just say they're inspired." Yeah. That's what he was saying. Like exactly, and, and but that, that's exactly what that's exactly what Muhammad said. So th th it's not really an argument against the Bible because Muhammad also claimed to be inspired by an angel. So that's not an argument against the Bible. Yeah. Right. So so I mean I, I'm going to stop now and, and, and get a drink. But like you know my, my point to you is, bro is that you, you, you brought out a contradiction to try and disprove the Bible, but that's assuming a logic that is true about the Quran. So you need to take that test and apply it to the Quran, not the Bible, because we don't believe about our Bible what you believe about the Quran. It, like I say, if me and you go away right now and write down what we've just experienced, we both go to the same hotel, sit at the same table, and without talking to one another, write down our own versions of this conversation, and we do, we do it with this commitment to be sincere and truthful, our two versions will not line up perfectly. You know um, the verse that you told me about um, the contradiction that they will see God? Yep. I think I think you should you should be charitable, yeah. and you should allow Christianity be, to be more complex than the. Was, uh, one second. I, I was a Catholic. It, 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 that, that's really uh, a meaningless thing. Over a decade ago, myself. It, it really is. That's a meaningless thing. Just to let you know that I'm not biased. Yeah, uh, I'm, from my experience, you are. But 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 in terms of in terms of what I would say to you is that you shouldn't judge Christianity by Islamic standards. Judge Islam by Islamic standards, judge Christianity by Christian standards. We Christians don't make the same claim about the Bible that you make a claim about the Quran. But if I was to um, judge the Quran yeah. by standards, I would be the first Muslim to have that. Yeah. And also, just on that contradiction that you that you offered me in the Bible, I just want to give you another interpretation that's amongst the scholars of the Bible about that verse, which is that God allow so it's talking about the same event this is an, another scholarly opinion yeah this is another scholarly opinion that that god allow so in one verse basically it's essentially that god allows or forces david to count israel through the agency of satan one perspective is talking about the fact that God allows it and the other one is talking about the agency through which it is done. So my point is, we can both reconcile contradictions, we can do this game all day, but it isn't a game that leads us to truth. If you're genuinely seeking the truth, then you've got to use a cleverer, more intelligent way of deciding what the truth is because we can play the contradiction game over and over and over for every contradiction you show me in the bible i'll show you one in the quran uh, we've discussed one well maybe you didn't follow the argument but the other chapter said no vision no means no. But not in the context of the hereafter. It was talking about this world uh, matter, But you're imposing, you're, no, the Quran gives a statement, no vision can, can uh, encompass Allah. And imposing, you're in, then imposing this qualification in the Quran that you can't show from the Quran 
that it's just in this world. That you show me where it says in the Quran, except in the afterlife. Yeah, that's why we have to read the entire chapter. Yeah, which I did, right? which I have. And then you understand the idea that it's talking about the hereafter. Yeah, but but the. Well, you know that already. Yes, I, I do know that already. But the no vision means no vision. It's an absolute. So what you need to show me is a verse in the Quran that qualifies that no vision statement, not a verse that contradicts it. All you've done is show me a verse that contradicts it, not a verse that qualifies it. That qualifies, uh, sorry, qualifies the which verse? So you need to show me a verse that qualifies the one that says no vision can see Allah, no vision can encompass Allah. All you're doing is agreeing with me that there's a verse that contradicts it that says something different. But then why would I need uh, another verse? And this is why, and this is why, arguments from contradiction are ridiculous arguments. Because what they, the, 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 right, right, so let me explain it. Arguments from contradiction rely on prima facie logic, i.e., what does the verse say at first reading? What does it say at plain reading? And the thing is, if that is the limit and scope by which you're going to read the Bible then that invites me to do the same with the Quran and we can play this contradiction game all day. It is not a good way to find truth. And if you got duped into Islam because of that kind of logic, then I feel sorry for you. Yeah. I found Where do you get yeah. your knowledge from? In monotheism. Where do you get your yeah. knowledge from? Which is what Christians believe in. We believe in monotheism. 300 years after. No, not really. No, we do. I'm not, I'm not stupid. We do. Like, I watch so much videos for over two years. Though. Like, I, okay, I, I can, you, can you show me, can you show me, can you bring me the video that says Christians believe in three gods? But, uh, I don't know if I can do that, but... I bet you can't. Okay, I'm not going to say I can or I can't. How about you give, how about you spend the next week finding a video where a Christian says they believe in three gods. Yeah, but more, more importantly, I wanted to say to you that the Quran that we talk about the contradiction, we've kind of disproved that by telling you that the context is about the hereafter. Right? No, you, 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 you try to reconcile a contradiction by saying something that the Quran doesn't say. That's what you try to do. But it does in the entire chapter when you read it. You, you but that chapter, the, the other chapter isn't talking about that verse. That other chapter is talking about something different, and that's why they contradict. Because they're talking about two different things, but in the, those two different things, they make statements that contradict one another. The later verse isn't talking about the earlier verse. And that's why they contradict. The, 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 the references I gave were 6103 and 75, 22 and 23. Yeah. Those are not talking about the same thing. Of course. You want to talk right. about the hereafter. But you're using one to qualify the other one. Yeah, of course. Because so there you go. So what you're doing is you're making the Quran say something it isn't no, saying. No, 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 we're not. The Quran works uh, within and of itself together. Do you see how we can play this contradiction game? No, no, this is just a, you know, this is just a fact, though. Because uh, the reason why that message is in this chapter is because this chapter is talking about a certain type of a message. Yeah. And this one's talking about another. And they make statements that contradict. No, because one is talking about the afterlife, one is talking about the current life. So. And they're, but, but they're both talking about vision. Yeah. There so, you go. Yeah. So, so the, the one commonality between both of them is vision. Is vision. Yeah. Yes, brilliant. But the difference and, and, and the difference is, one is talking about vision in the next life, one is talking about vision in this life, but, but the, vis the, the, the verse that is talking about vision makes an absolute statement that no vision can see Allah. If no vision can see Allah and Allah is one, then if any vision sees any part of part, I mean that should worry you. If if any any vision sees anything of Allah, that if, if they do. see anything of Allah, they see the totality of Allah. Because Allah is an absolute. You don't see that the sum, the, the, the bits are equal to the whole, and the whole is equal to the sum. So there is no seeing a part of Allah. You see the totality of Allah because Allah is an absolute one. That's if it says that in the Quran. Unless that's your comprehension. Are you saying Allah is not an absolute one? No, no, I'm saying uh, the, the fact that you're saying that if you see Allah, you see absolutely... Uh, yeah, it, Allah, logically right? follows, it logically follows. 
that if Allah is an apprehension, bro, that's what I'm trying to tell you. Because my comprehension is different to yours, and I'll explain mine. We we saw that with the Trinity. Mine is mine is that Allah has attributes, and I can see an uh, attribute of Allah. Yeah. One of his attributes is uh, light, nur. Yes. Right. Which is which is a comparison to a created thing, which but that's another problem. It's an attribute of, it's of, a, of the Lord. It's a, a a comparison to something created, which is which is a a a problem another problem in the Quran. Can I ask you a question? Yeah, but I'm gonna go get a cup of tea. You're more than welcome to join me if you want. Anyway, it was nice talking to you. Good talking to you, Bob. Yeah. Next time, bro, be polite to us and all right. Yeah, don't don't call me a dog and interrupt and jump in. Yeah, we can all be better. We can all be better. All right, bro. Yeah, come and join me. Yeah. Basically, guys, the 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 the, the, con the nice conversation that I was having about the Trinity was derailed by one of the Muslim brothers who wanted to talk about his contradiction. A contradiction that is easily reconciled. A prima facie contradiction is at first reading, at face value. And we can play the contradiction game forever. I can find loads of prima facie contradictions in the Quran. And I accept that Muslims can find loads of prima facie contradictions in the Bible. And I accept that Muslims can come up with their reconciliations, just like Christians can come up with their reconciliations. And the reality is that kind of discourse does not lead you to truth. So Muslims, expand your mind, think to a higher level. This kind of thinking isn't getting you anywhere. And all it does is gives me a stick to beat the Quran with. So, so, Let's try and look at better, deeper things. Christians don't make the claim about the Bible that Muslims make about the Quran. We don't say that it's literally the words of God. And if we say that it's literally not the words of God, but literally the words of men inspired by God, that allows us, as it were, Things like, for instance, if you go away and you write out your account of what you've just watched on video and compare them to one another, they won't match. But it doesn't mean that you lied. It doesn't mean that you told a mistruth. It doesn't mean that you were misleading. The fact that stories told from different perspectives don't match, at a prima facie level you can say have contradictions, but no one who is sensible would say that these different narratives are false because they're not identical. But then when the Quran claims to be from Allah but contradicts history, contradicts science, contradicts geography and contradicts itself, then obviously I'm right to say that it's not from God because the Quran says if it was from any other than Allah, I would find contradictions therein. Thank you, Bob. Thank you, Thank you, Thank you. Thank you.